Hit four out of five free picks so far this week in baseball after cashing in with the Angels last night in a three-run rally in the bottom of the ninth to win over St. Louis in the rubber game of their series. Two more free plays coming your way in just a moment for your Friday card. Going to take a look at the matchup between Cliff Lee and Tim Hudson as the Phillies host the Braves and also the AL Central showdown between the Tigers and the Indians. Those are coming up in just a moment. Hi, everyone. Out to Marco here. This, of course, is going to be your Friday video report. Number of promotions today going for you. First and foremost... Buy one handicapper's plays today and get two other handicapper's plays for Friday action of equal or lesser value absolutely free. So, for example, Brian Rusica, who has just been on an incredible roll over the past four weeks today, going for overall winner number 9 out of 10. It's a 50 dime dog in baseball. Keep in mind, $10 bettors are up $14,665 since he made his debut on the site back on February 5th. Just came through that perfect 6-0 sweep with plays in the NBA Finals. 50 dime dog play goes tonight. Uh, and again, 60 and 35 is overall record straight up since joining the site on February 5th. For example, today, his play has a cost today of $69. So, for example, you can get his play today, and perhaps you'd also like to get the play of Brett Atkins, his highest-rated baseball release of the season, 100-dime revenge game of the year, uh, twice as strong as his 50-dime winner yesterday on the Red Sox over the Padres. It also costs $69. You can get that for free, plus another handicapper's plays for free that costs $69 or less. Again, buy one handicapper, get the plays of two other handicappers of equal or lesser value today for free. All you have to do is make your initial purchase. Then go ahead, after doing so, email customer service, tell them, I just bought so-and-so, I want the plays of these other two handicappers for free. Customer service will go ahead and add those plays to your account. Now listen, generally, two full-time guys here today on customer service, they get back to you normally within five minutes. It may take up to 10 today because when I do this type of offer, overwhelming response drives them crazy because just the sheer volume of requests coming into customer service. So please be patient for a couple extra minutes as they will add the service to your account. So that's buy one handicapper, get the place two handicappers of equal and lesser value today for free. Uh, another promotion today, buy one handicapper seven day package and get the plays of another handicapper for seven days of equal or lesser value for free. I've done this God, this promotion, I can't even tell you, probably four or five months in a row now, at least once or twice a week. Again, you can buy one handicapper's package and get a second handicapper's seven-day package of equal or lesser value for free. It runs concurrently. One seven-day purchase, get another seven-day purchase, equal or lesser value for free, running concurrently. Again, you make your initial purchase and then go ahead and uh, email customer service. Let them know who you want for that other handicapper for seven days for free. Um, and as with any of these things, guys, if you ever have any questions, if you happen to be new to the site, and I realize at this point of year, most of you guys have been coming to the site for months and months, if not years and years, just contact customer service. That's what they're there for. Uh, your other promotion today is going to be, well, there's two of them, $5 play of the day. Shawn Michaels, second biggest baseball release of the season, his first totals play of the season, his American League total of the year for 2013. It's on one of your last games on the card, 10.05 Eastern time start out in Anaheim. The Angels hosting the Red Sox, normal price $60. You get it for $5 simply by using the coupon code 5 Sean. That's the number 5 in his first name. S E A N 5 Sean. We'll get you Sean Michaels play. $5 play of the day. American League total of the year. 59 play. Second biggest play of the season in baseball. And finally, the charity play of the week. Uh, yesterday it was me and I got rained out. <laughs> Uh, nine times this year, I've had a game postponed by inclement weather when I've been in the middle of winning streaks. That is just a, that's a strange, strange stat. But hell, I made a lot of money in this baseball season, so who am I to complain? Anyway, Charity Play of the Week, I'm going to go right to the well once more with me as Charity Play of the Week winner number 16 of 20 is going to be my 10-dime winner number 10 out of 13 and 5 in 5 days this week. It is on the nighttime card. Normal price is $65. You are going to get it for free. You know the deal, guys. If the play wins tomorrow, I'll ask you to make a donation to a charity, a family, an organization, somebody that needs some type of financial assistance. If it loses, hey, it's gambling, guys. There are no guarantees, but damn it. 
It is going for winner number 16 out of 20. I've given away $2.3 million worth of action since I started the Charity Play of the Week promotion and program way back in uh, mm, almost 16 months ago, guys. And you, in turn, have helped to create a community of caregivers. And for that, my appreciation. I hope you enjoy the program. Uh, I know I do. It's the one play I hope wins more than anybody else's play today, and I make my apologies up front to Rosika and anybody else that has big plays today. But anyway, Charity Play of the Week, uh, you get it using my coupon code DeMarco65. My last name, DeMarco, and the number 65. Uh, other handicappers that are hot here, hey, um, Trace Adams going for winning day number 6 out of 7 with his top-rated 1,000 star winner number 6 out of 7 on Baltimore and the Yankees. Scott Delaney, 40 dime mismatch of the month. He says it's a four-run blowout winner. $10 better is up $7,362 over the past 215 days for those of us without calculators and abacuses. And, uh, you know, that means a little over seven months since Scott Delaney continues to put down the number of days, which drives me crazy and probably you as well. Uh, now, I told you the good. Let me tell you the bad. Anthony Red has lost six out of the last seven days. True, he has total winner number 15 out of 24 today. Uh but he has lost six of the last seven days. Meanwhile, Craig Davis has lost, let me just double check, Craig Davis, 11 of the last 12 days and three in a row. And the irony here is, guys, and really it's not ironic, and I'll explain why here in a moment. The irony right here is the two hottest handicappers here, no ifs, ands, or buts, for a number of months were Craig Davis and Anthony Red. Craig Davis, from November up until about a month ago, just phenomenal run and now they both hit the skids now I say it's not really ironic though in many ways because listen as I've told you many many times you know as a handicapper as a gambler you are prone to the same winning and losing streaks and slumps and extended winning roles that the players and the teams that you are handicapping and it's just a fact of life if you can't accept that you shouldn't be gambling I accept that because I realize that listen look at me I mean, I'm on another roll again, just like the first six weeks of the baseball season. And yet, it was only two and a half weeks ago where, out of the blue, I had lost 12 out of 14 days. I hadn't done anything different. But that's what it is. It's gambling. It's cyclical. But bottom line is you need more winning days and more winning streaks and losing days and losing streaks, respectively. And that's how you make money over the long haul. But nobody ever said you win every single day. And anybody that does in this business, they are outright thieves, liars, and uh, probably running an 800 sports service, uh, boiler room operation. Okay, let me get to your... Um, free selections. First one, I'm going to go with the Phillies. Listen, they're coming off a five and five road trip. I mean, they really could have been, you know, they could have been seven and three, six and four in that trip, if not for their numerous bullpen collapses. But they hit 306 on the trip, average a little over five runs a game. They're coming home with Cliff, he Cliff Lee on the hill. True, they are a 150 favorite. But listen, Lee, since May 1st, seven and zero, oh, in his last 11 starts going at least seven innings in, uh, each start, uh, he's allowed two or less runs in eight of those 11 starts. Uh, first game of the season for Lee was against Atlanta, and he went uh, eight innings, uh, two-hit shutout ball, and a 2 nothing victory. He's 4-1 and one with a 0 0.78 earned run average in his last six starts against the Braves. Philly's coming off a 2-1 and one trip at Pittsburgh uh, the past couple of days. Braves, meanwhile, have lost uh, two straight games at home to the Marlins. They are 2-6 and six in their last eight on the road. They are just uh, 20 and 23 on the highway this season. Uh, yes, the Braves have won 13 of the last 18 meetings, but still, they haven't played well on the road. Tim Hudson has a 4.22 earn run average and a 10 start winless streak. And before scoring 11 runs in Hudson's last start against Arizona, a game in which he couldn't even earn a decision, he couldn't hang around long enough in that one, they'd only scored 10 runs in his previous nine games. So a lack of offensive support has certainly hurt Hudson. But then again, his earned run average has hurt even more. Uh, he's 1-7 with a 5.71 ERA and nine road starts this season. 1-7, 5.71. That's why I'm willing to lay it with the Phillies here tonight. The other play, I'm going to go with the uh, Cleveland Indians. Minus the dollar 30 at home tonight against the Detroit Tigers. You know, Justin Masterson, and I pointed this out many times here in the uh, video reports and using him as a, as a uh, paid pick as well. You know, at home, I like to ride Masterson. On the road, generally, I stay away. But, you know, Masterson really opened up my eyes with the fact that he's coming off uh, 
six-hit shutout in his third complete game of the season, which is tops in the American League, uh, with eight strikeouts and a 4 nothing win at Chicago uh, last Sunday. Now he's back at home, where he has pitched extremely well this season. Um... You know, so I'm going to go with him, 5-0 uh, and o with a 1.49 earned run average in his last six home starts against the Tigers and Rick Porcello. I know the Tigers just took three in a row in the final three games of their four-game set at Toronto, and they scored plenty of runs uh, in that contest, but the Tigers are still not that good of a team on the road. Granted, they have uh, won five of their last seven at Progressive Field. They have won five straight in the series and six of eight against the Tribe this year. But Cleveland has won 22 of its last 31 games at home, okay? Uh, Cleveland and Detroit. Since the last two time, or the last time that these two teams met, you know, the Indians have gone on a nice little roll, winning 15 out of 23 games, okay, since getting swept at Detroit back in the first week in June. Meanwhile, the Tigers, just 11 and 12 since then. And that's considering their three straight wins at Toronto. Uh, they're going with Rick Porcello, who's uh, appealing a suspension uh, for plunking a guy, and that's the only reason he's making his start here tonight. 8.82 uh, earn run average and losing three straight starts. In eight road outings this season, his record is 2-4. and four. His ERA, 4.99. So again, I'm going to go with the Indians and Justin Masterson at home as a $1.30 favorite is your second free pick today. That'll do it, guys. Best of luck to you all, and I will catch you again on Saturday morning.